Do, 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Shinobi's Mark here, and we are working on the Great Shinobi Owl. And man, this was a this is a really interesting fight. Um, so let's go over a couple things first before we begin. So it's going to be a pretty basic attack strategy. We're going to do like a dodge forward into his attacks. We're going to do one or two hits and we are going to get out. And I'm going to show you when and where to do those attacks um, for which specific strikes he uses. Also, never use thrust. Don't hold that right mupper down because he has a Makiri counter that does a ton of damage. You should probably have about five to seven Gord Seeds for this fight. You can bring Firecrackers if you want. You won't need them really, but if you need some help, go for it. Max out your Spirit Emblems. Because Sugar and Gokan Sugar are both helpful if you're having some trouble. So first thing we're going to do is when we enter here, we're going to crouch and then we're going to go directly to the left. And we're going to creep up behind this guy. Be sure you kind of hug the wall because he can detect you if you're too far on the right. And we're going to take him out. Um, you don't have to do this. You can actually run past him by holding the dodge button. Um, but... I like taking him out because you get some spirit em emblems from him every once in a while. So go ahead and talk to this guy. If you have already talked to him, then we're going to scoot right past him. We're going to grapple up. And we are going to, once again, go on the top of this building. And we're going to have another big duel with our dad, which is really weird and fun. Okay, so when we start the fight, this, this strategy is all about keeping proper distance. So we're going to let him take the initiative. We're going to hang out right about here in this area. And when he starts coming, we're going to dodge into his swing on the right-hand side, on our right-hand side. So just kind of zip in and look how close I am. Look at our feet. I am really close to him, then I dodge out. I almost went too deep with that because um, I only get one hit in here. Look at the distance. I could have gotten two hits there, but I only got one. And we're gonna do this a lot with him in both phase one and phase two. Now this is his most common. Let me replay that again. This is his easiest counter. When you see him pick up a shuriken, we're gonna dodge to the right and then we're gonna hit him on the way down. You can do, I suggest one to two hits only one to be safe, two if you're feeling a little saucy. I tend to stick with one just because it's safer and it's a sure thing. Now look at the different the distance I have here. We're keeping like a medium distance. Now, when he comes for the strike, we're gonna again, slightly dodge to the right and then we're gonna get one or two attacks. It's generally one. Now, when he, when he throws this grenade, you don't wanna be near it because it will restrict healing and item usage. Both are bad, so be sure you dodge or run out of there. Look at the distance. We're keeping it sort of close because we want him to use his heavy attacks so we can dodge into them. Now, when he tosses this grenade, be sure you dodge or run out of it. But you can usually get one attack in if you're close enough. And so that, that one shuriken and then a big swing, you can dodge it, but tr try to dodge it, but you can block it. Again, here's that grenade. If you have distance like I do here, it's a really good time to heal. So um, keep an eye on your health. I'm doing pretty good so far, so I don't need to, uh, I don't need to worry about it. But healing with him is, is, is very difficult. Not impossible, but it is very difficult. He loves to take advantage of that. So I did a simple dodge with a slight, slight right slant on it, and then I got in two hits. And that's it, I'm kind of baiting him into this. And it is a rhythm you're gonna have to learn. Um, I think it probably took me tw about 20, 20 fights, maybe 15 to kind of get his rhythm down, but it'll happen. If it's not happening for you, you're just give yourself to adjust to his timing because it is a, he has a weird timing. It's different than everybody else. Um, but it, it is, it is easy to catch on once you give, allow yourself and have patience with learning it. So, um, so yeah, when he comes in with these big strikes, you can, you can dodge them, you can parry them, but I suggest dodging to the right, getting one, maybe two hits and backing out. And, and we're going to do this for both phase one, phase two. Phase two is different and I'll show you why, but it's very similar. You see how I'm just kind of keeping my distance halfway? Yeah, so that shuriken and that huge slash, I mean, that will crumple you. So um, try to dodge out if you can, but block it. Tr do not take that hit. It is a really hard hit. And there he goes with his most common 
double shuriken, and then we dodge to the right, and we take advantage of it. And this is just a, a war of attrition. We're going gonna to slowly take away one or two hits, and his health will go down faster than you might think. Now, he does this combo thing, and it varies in between like two to five hits. If you can dodge out of it, that's great. But for the most part, you're going to want to block it, maybe parry. He does this front kick thing. When you see him jump up and he's about to kick you, dodge backwards. And sometimes when you go in for uh, a dodge and then hit, he will actually kick you and throw a bunch of shurikens. But I don't know. I found that attack pretty, pretty benign. It doesn't seem to do much damage even when it hits. So it's worth the risk, I think, of doing this strategy. There he goes. Okay, so I don't know what I was thinking here. I don't know why I didn't go for the death blow. I, my brain malfunctioned, and I decided to heal myself instead of going for the death blow. I hope this has happened to you, and I'm not the only one because I blew it. But it doesn't matter. I, I still got the death blow, as you can tell. But, man, I, I, don't, know why, I don't know why I did that. Nonetheless, so when he, when he is, when we get that death blow... Try to get a few attacks in here. I did a Mortal Blade. Um, you can see, if you're curious how much Mortal Blade does, you can see how much damage it does. Looks like it does about 5%, maybe. Um, try to get a couple attacks in and then get out. And that's what we're doing. We're doing the same thing. We are sliding to the right, his left, and we're getting one or two hits in. And we're just kind of suckering. Oh, here he goes. We go to the right. We get a hit in. And then we just keep that distance, keep a medium distance, because we want his heavy attacks like that to come so we can slide right underneath that attack and get one or two hits in. There he goes. He loves that grenade. He loves it. And that's okay. So look at our distance. Again, it's, a, it's about a, a, a medium-sized distance. And look how close I am before I actually dodge. So I'm kind of up in his grill right before I hit the dodge button. I mean, we're up there, and it's kind of like a, it's this weird kind of rhythm dance. Now, when he does this poison, you want to back out. You do not want to be near it. You can't block that poison. Um, you might be able to do with the umbrella. I don't know. I didn't try it. But generally speaking, back out, and that where he threw that poison, the fight arena is off limits until it dissipates. So you're in the back of your mind, in your peripheral, that is there. So do not dodge or run into it. And so look at this. Now we have two areas with poison, but it doesn't stay too long. Yes, half the arena now is has a poisonous gas, but the, the original first one is going to dissipate fairly quickly. So he never seems to have, at least in my experience, never seems to have more than two, but it doesn't last very long. So there we go. We, we dodge under, and we get one or two attacks. You guys are going to get really sick and tired of me seeing dodge under one or two attacks. But I don't want to say it just to remind you. Now, you can see there's poisonous there's a poisonous gas back there. The one that was here already dissipated, so we're good. So we're again, I'm backing up, and I'm, kinda, I'm letting him come to me. He can come to me. And we're doing really well with our health. And dodge under one attack, maybe two. It depends on how comfortable you're feeling, and get out of there. Um, we do not want to be near that grenade because when when it hits and you can't use your gourd seed and he gets you in a combo, it it's really it's it sucks because um, it seems to last forever. I if I had to guesstimate, it's probably 60 seconds maybe. Now this is the this is the important one a smoke bomb. When he throws that smoke bomb, when you see his hand go up like that, we are gonna turn and run. We need to get out of there because he has a pretty nasty attack. So what I like to do is turn around and run along the outside of the arena. So we're going to create distance and then swing the camera around. If he's not there, if you don't see him, continue to swing back around. And we're going to run along the outside of the arena again. So he just he's attacking me. So we know he's back there somewhere. So flip it around, and there he is. That, that attack right there does a ton of damage. So tr that's one of the reasons why we want to create distance when he throws that smoke bomb. And then we're just going to continue to do what we do. Look at his health. We're just picking it apart slowly, but it's, pr it's happening fairly quickly of course that's going to depend on your attack power but even if even still i'm not using any sugars i'm not using firecrackers i'm not doing anything but um attacking him so if you are having trouble firecrackers are useful at the same time now you can see i don't want to screw this death blow up so <laughs> you gotta dodge out of that still no matter what and then we take it so don't forget to like and subscribe folks it does help me out quite a bit i hope this video helps you Thanks so much for watching my video.